Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Jones, and today I'm going to be talking about Ruth Sanger, also known as the High Priestess of the Second Genetic System. Ruth Sager was born on February 7, 1918 in Chicago, Illinois, right when World War I was nearing its end, but the Spanish influenza was gaining momentum, and it claimed her mother when she was only a year old. Sager's family was supportive of her receiving quality education, so in 1938 she got her BS at the University of Chicago, in 1944 she got her master's at Rutgers, and in 1948, she got her PhD at Columbia. Just before Sager was born, Thomas Morgan discovered sex-linked inheritance in fruit flies. While Sager was in school, Luria and Delbrook discovered mutations are random. And when Sager started her work, Watson and Crick discovered the structure of a DNA molecule. Starting in 1949, Sager worked in research at Rockefeller University. In 1955, Sager returned to Columbia as a research associate, and she was appointed professor at Hunter College in 1966. It was at Rockefeller University in 1954, working with Dr. Sam Granick, that Ruth Sager published her first major discovery, Mendelian and Non-Mendelian Heredity. So, Let's walk through it. At the time, geneticists believed eukaryotic cells only expressed DNA in the nucleus, but Sager used Mendelian cross-testing to show that mutations can come from outside the nucleus while testing antibiotic resistance in algae. Sager used a unicellular alga, Chlamydomonas, and took advantage of its sexual phase. The algae was cultured in acetate medium on agar with sublethal concentrations of the streptomycin antibiotic. Wild-type algal cells without streptomycin resistance were crossed with resistant mutant cells, and the hybrids were crossed together to look for Mendelian inheritance patterns. Pedigree analysis tracked from which parent the offspring received the gene of interest. Based on the genotype frequencies in the image, the genes did not segregate evenly in the hybrid crosses, so the genes for streptomycin resistance are inherited maternally through non-chromosomal methods, and in 1963, Sager discovered DNA in the chloroplast. On top of discovering DNA is in the chloroplast as well as the nucleus, Sager pioneered Chlamydomonas as a model organism, and DNA was soon discovered in the mitochondria, which supports the endosymbiont theory that these organelles were once free-living. Sager eventually began to take interest in DNA regulation of disease. After a research fellowship in London in 1972, she began working at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and was one of the first women full-time professors at Harvard Medical School. It was at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in 1984, where Ruth Sager published her second major discovery, Suppression of Tumorigenicity in Hybrids of Normal and Oncodene Transformed Chef Cells, with Ruth Craig. At this time, oncogenes were understood to be mutations that cause cancerous tumors, but Sager proposed the loss of tumor suppressor genes are also needed for cell growth to become unregulated in the first place. Sager used cultured Chinese hamster embryonic fibroblasts, or CHEF cells, some of which were transformed with the human oncogene, polyethylene glycol, to induce cell fusion and gel electrophoresis with restriction enzymes and protein markers. Hybrid CHEF cells were formed from fused normal and tumorigenic cells. These test cells were injected into healthy rats to test for tumor formation, and separate gel electrophoreses were performed for the oncogene and its protein product. Electrophoresis found the oncogene in all hybrid CHEF cells, as well as the expression of the protein product, but the severity of tumor growth varied when transplanted, suggesting there must be genes suppressing tumor growth. Sager developed cultivation systems for chef cells as well as human mammary cells. Her lab identified over 100 possible tumor suppressor genes in the early 1990s, including Maspin, a possible cancer therapy gene. 
1944, Ruth Sager married Seymour Melman, a World War II Army officer. They divorced in 1960 and never had children. She later married Arthur Party, a biochemist at Princeton, and she had a summer home in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. Sager never retired from her work. The month before she died, she got a research grant from the National Health Institute. She was 79 when she died of bladder cancer on March 29, 1997, and she was laid to rest in Woods Hole. Thank you for watching this presentation, and happy holidays. Enjoy the rest of 2020.